A young fellow who put the Fonz on hold while he made two hit movies last year. And he did it the hard way without any acting advice from me. <laughs> With him, one of the glittering jewels in the Hollywood treasure chest, Greer Garson and Henry Winkler, right here. I would just like to say that it is an honor to stand here tonight with a star of your magnitude. Why, that's very gracious of you. Uh, we could call it a nice encounter of the academy kind, couldn't we? What would you say if I told you that I was really delighted to be up here with the Fonz? <laughs> I'd say you show good taste. I think the Academy showed good taste in giving you the award, Mrs. Miniver. Why, thank you, Henry. And now, let us name the talented and gifted people who have been nominated for their great achievements in art direction. The nominees are... George C. Webb for Airport 77, set direction by Mickey S. Michael. Joe Alves and Don Domino for Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Set decoration by Phil Abramson. Ken Adam and Peter Lamont for Spy Who Loved Me. Set, de set, de set decoration by you, Skate. John Barry, Norman Reynolds, and Leslie Dilley for Star Wars. Set decoration by Roger Christian. Albert Brenner for The Turning Point. Set decoration by Marvin March. We're very pleased to accept this beautiful award on behalf of all our friends and compatriots who worked so hard to make the sets of Star Wars a success. And there's one man whose name should be engraved on this above everybody else, and whose name should be on every frame of Star Wars, and that's George Lucas. Thank you, George. <laughs> 